Thank, thank you, thank you, and Lee and Dad. Uh, it's quite a privilege to be part of this uh, very important gathering. Just make it closer to you. Okay, yeah. 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 And uh, you bring up a very important uh, aspect to development economy. There is a nexus between uh, human development and trade. In any case, uh, trade is a very important anchor to create commercial relations across countries. It's very interesting that we, the report we're trying to develop here today is emphasize the interdependence uh, across our economies in the world. And that interdependence can only be unlocked if we are fully integrated as a people, as nations. And in Africa, it can be put it across very clearly. Economic integration has been the hallmark since the time of public woman. Um, and the Africa continent of trade area, which is just brought into this space, comes in as an important basis to liberate Africa economically. We've gone beyond political liberation, uh, liberation, and now we are at a stage where we're looking at economic diplomacy. And the Africa continent of trade area and takes that reality. See you know our interest is Africa. So our interest is Zimbabwe to partake in this uh, Pan-African initiative. Um, I would want just to bring up a few issues on how this can undertake image development in this public context. We well, appreciate that Africa is got a population of 1.27 billion people. The Africa continent of region area creates GDP of a minimum of 3 trillion. Now, Zimbabwe has been going through economic challenges over the last 20 or so years. And we've also been seeing economic polarization, politically, geopolitics. Zimbabwe has been much aligned with the global states. Now, at an African level, if we focus on the Africa continent of free trade area and look at Zimbabwe, the FCT creates a vent to push that underutilized capacity in this country. It can help us unlock the gridlock in terms of economic development. In the vision 2030, the country has set itself on, can ride upon the African continent of free trade. How does that happen? Now, if you look at Zimbabwe's capacity utilization across the industry right now, or pick up one sector, just pick up clothing and textiles. We used to map them under the glory of David White way back then. We had a very vertically integrated enterprise where you would get all your cotton absorbed in this country and get this public. How can we engineer and put ourselves back on that, uh, say, clothing, fiber, clothing, the clothing textiles value chain? We're now sitting on very huge deposits of lithium as a country. Did you know that the lithium industry is but if vacuums market is fifty trillion dollars going forward? Now, if we can just use lithium to lead from Zimbabwe, work with DRC, work with Zambia, right on the Pan African oil value chain, and produce batteries around that value chain, Zimbabwe can just overnight leap forward and restore economic prosperity. So, trade is very important. The next of the trade and industry can unlock a reversal of this kind of energy. So it's in our interest as a country to partake and be part of that current <coughs> rich economic integration agenda. And the beauty about it is what the skills at home. And the Zimbabwe has been out there handling these things. You can also leverage our capacity to push this agenda across all planning agencies of this country so that we can actually unlock a lot of debt for our capacity. So we're still ready to support you. We will always be there to make sure we push this agenda together. Thank you very much. From that, I'll just ask you a very quick follow-up um, before we, because we then have to have a break for the photo, but it's interesting. We're talking here about a polarized world, okay, breaking the gridlock. At the same time, we're also talking about Africa becoming more integrated with each other because we ourselves don't do enough for it. In a way, we're polarized as African countries. So I'm assuming that we take steps. We first have to unpolarize ourselves in Africa and then unpolarize ourselves with the rest of the world. Now, what, what, what is the way forward in that? Because you know, both things can happen at the same time, I right? In a very good uh, uh, discussion to involve around COVID-19, that's even emphasized the polarization between Africa and other in the bigger world. But what, that, what, that, what did that do to us as a continent? 
it put us on a pedestal of trying to do an uh, introspection. Say, what can we do in South Africa? And if you look at what happened in Rwanda now, under the Africa Union Economic Initiative, they've now set up um, um, a set of excellence dealing with all these things. So what we need is more collaboration as a continent. We need to leverage at a national level what Zimbabwe can do better and scale up and ensure that it supports the whole continent. Where we can tie up across borders, regional economic cooperation is very key and leverage those particular areas and resources where we can actually support each other along those borders and develop corridors of prosperity. That's the only way we can actually go forward. Despite the geopolitics still in Afghanistan, I still find an irony way we say we own 65% of Arab land in the world. But we are food insecure. There must be something fundamental wrong with us. You know? So we need to reverse all these interesting discussions we're having, all these cases, and look inward and push for a broad based shared value, go beyond social cohesion, and push an African narrative and an African agenda, and begin to believe in ourselves. Because the potential is there, the space is there. It's fascinating what you say. Um, I, when I go to international conferences, and I'm sure most of you do, you find the European Union, the other blocs, they come with shared positions. They come, they have a position, they negotiate it, and everyone walks out. I could tell you, can I be fighting amongst yourselves? Before you even get to the position. And when you do get to the position, half 